So I've had a bunch of people ask me, maybe one person, but when I'm going to build my layout, where is it going to be, and why haven't I started yet? Well, this is why I haven't started, because I have a three-car garage, and two of those bays are being taken up by my stuff that I haven't unpacked yet. And to top that all off, I'm bringing my mom in to live with us, who's bringing all her stuff in, which I don't have any room for. So I'm building these shelves right here, and I'm gonna hopefully put most of this stuff in there. There'll be some shelves on the other side. So underneath the shelving is where I'm gonna be putting my train layout for now, until I get my shed built. And we're gonna go out there. I'm gonna show you in my backyard where I was thinking about putting the layout and what we finally decided. Also, this, all this right here is all trains. Okay, so now we're in the corner. This is like the farthest back corner of my backyard. And I was thinking about putting it here. It's also the lowest spot, which is concerning when it rains, like the three times it rains out here, all the water kind of puddles over here. But you can see somewhere, there's those yellow little squares on each side. That is 45 by 31. So that would be the area that I would need for the shed. The only problem is, let me swing you around, the power over here is starts on the front of the house and I'd have to come all the way back down and over to here, which is about 250 feet about six grand in today's money. So I wanna bring you over to the area where we're 95% sure where we wanna put the shed. So this is where we're thinking of putting the shed. The power is right there. I don't have to dig under the fence and I can have power for the RV and water and also for electrical. So I don't have to go 20 or 30 feet for that, which isn't gonna be five grand. But let me see if I can get, it's hard, we're farther away but pretty much to where the shed it or the slide is right there over to about the middle would be the, um, the shed that we want to build for the layout. And also there would be a guest room attached to that, which is convenient because my septic tank is right here. So it'd be a, a quick straight shot right to that. And that would be another issue with putting it over there. It'd be like 120 feet for the uh, uphill for the poop to go, which doesn't work well. Not a mathematician, but I feel like that wouldn't work. So also this area right here, from here to here would be where the RV goes. I put it underneath, I build an awning for it and put it in there. So it'd be nice and uh, protected. Also, we can use that for people to stay in and also have the little casita there for someone else to stay. So overall, the layout room and the little house or little bedroom would be 50 feet long by 16 feet wide, plus another, I don't know, 15, 16 feet for the RV to stay under. So that's kind of the update for now. And um, thank you for sticking around. And uh, remember, it makes sense if you don't think about it.